most of the things we build with AIs will be tools. They'll be very specific uh, prediction machines that will focus on a very specific prediction problem. And we'll use those tools like we use any tools in business in order to make uh, some process more efficient. So it will enhance the productivity of whatever, we're doing, of whatever we normally do towards our ultimate goal of executing against the strategy of the organization. So whatever your organization, whether it's a for-profit or not-for-profit, a business, a hospital, a school, whatever it is, there will be a strategy, and we'll use AI tools to make us more efficient in executing against that strategy. But occasionally, a prediction tool so fundamentally changes the underlying economics of the business that instead of using it to execute against a strategy, it changes the strategy itself. And that's what I'm going to talk about next. The, a lot of this is, is straightforward blocking and tackling. It is, if you think about the application of AI, part science and part art. The science part are the things that you can write down, explain to people, and put in, roughly think of it as putting into a manual, and people can follow them you know, step by step through the manual and, and uh, execute. But there's part of the business application of AI that isn't a science, it's an art. And that's what I want to talk about here, is the art part. <clears throat> Uh, Avi talked about the first, what, I would say there are three categories of art. The first is what Avi, uh, when Avi was describing the uh, drop in the cost of prediction, he said, remember your economics 101 with downward sloping demand curves, as something becomes cheaper, we use more of it. And he gave a bunch of examples. And he talked about um, you know, using uh, prediction for familiar things, like in insurance, uh, you know, predicting various risks in terms of um, demand forecasting and supply chain management, you know, things that we traditionally use it for. But then he talked about using, pred using prediction for problems that weren't traditionally prediction problems, converting problems into prediction problems in order to take advantage of the new cheap prediction. And the example he gave was driving. You know, driving uh, was, even as recently as six years ago, people working on autonomous vehicles said that was an intractable problem. We wouldn't have a driverless car on a city street in our lifetime until it was transformed into a prediction problem and effectively became a, you know, as he said, uh, predicting what a good human driver would do. And then we took translation and converted that into a prediction problem. That used to be a rules problem. A linguist, we used linguistic rules for translating from one language to another until we turned it into a prediction problem. And now machines can predict, in most cases, uh, at the same level as reasonable uh, translators, and they're getting up to professional translator levels in, in some categories. And that is an art form. It is an art form of taking problems and finding out and, and thinking through which of these problems can we convert into a prediction problem. 